Are you the type of person who comes home after a long week at work so exhausted that all you can do is collapse on the couch and watch TV all weekend? I get it, and I've been there too. But if you spend all Saturday and Sunday napping and being a blob, well, you need to boost your self-care and fast. In life editing, we call self-care white space the publishing term where there's no text or no pictures on a printed page. Now, white space gives a reader's eyes a place to relax. But where are you relaxing in your life? Don't wait until the weekends to take care of yourself. Today, you'll learn five easy ways to enjoy white space at work. Let's go. Grayson, a former book editor turned life coach. I help ambitious career women edit their habits, routines, and mindsets to balance their happiness at work and home. I'm a life editor, and so are you. When you work nonstop during the week at your job or on your business, you are setting yourself up for a major burnout. All of your daily tasks and interactions deplete your precious energy and it is vital that you replenish that energy every day. Building white space breaks into your workday will ensure that you won't waste your weekends being lazy, and it will give you added energy to power through your workdays. Here are five simple ways to enjoy white space at work. Number one, go for a walk. One of the publishing houses that I used to work at had a walking club that would meet before lunch every day. Walking during your work day gets your blood flowing so you think more clearly. It encourages healthy habits so you don't binge at lunch, and it promotes team bonding if you walk with a friend. If you can't leave your building, well, try walking around your floor a few times. Or you could map out a one-mile loop that goes away from your building and then back again. When I used to work in Chicago, I got to walk down Michigan Avenue every day and do a little window shopping while I walked. Number two, eat your lunch away from your desk. There's nothing more depressing than seeing an overworked employee eating a soggy sandwich over her keyboard. Eating your lunch at your desk is gross, and it tells your manager that you don't care enough about yourself to take a proper lunch break. Don't be a slave to your job. Take your lunch and go eat in the break room. Or how about a bench outside? You could even go eat in your car and listen to uplifting music or even a podcast while you eat. Number three, take a nap. Now this might be easier for people who work at home, but I know plenty of corporate employees who still find time to take a nap on the job. Now, I'm not talking about disappearing for two hours over lunch, but a 20-minute nap is enough to give you a breather. Go to an empty conference room, your car, or close the door to your office if you have one. Set an alarm on your phone for 20 minutes and close your eyes. You could even play some white noise for added relaxation. Number four, write a gratitude list. I once had a job that was so miserable that I was getting violently sick on the drive to work every morning. I know that's gross, but it's true. The only way that I could make it through the day was by focusing on the positive things in my life, even though it didn't feel like much. I started writing gratitude lists in my planner when I was feeling especially stressed out. I was thankful for having a paycheck, that I didn't have to share an office, and that I had my weekends off. These simple gratitude lists gave me the confidence and courage to finally leave that horrible place as soon as I was able. Number five, boost your environment. Your workspace is a reflection of you, so surround yourself with the things that give you a jolt of happiness when you see them. You could bring in a framed photo of your family, souvenirs from your last vacation, or colorful office supplies to motivate you. You sit in your work environment for eight hours a day, so why not add some pizzazz to those cubicle walls? 
That's it! This week, choose one white space activity that you can incorporate into your workday. Remember, a relaxed, calm employee is a productive employee. If you like this video, please be sure to hit that subscribe button and then come on over to sagegrayson.com leap and sign up for my free five-day video series, Your Life Editing Action Plan. You'll learn the five keys to life editing and how to set and finally achieve all your biggest goals this year. Go to sagegrayson.com leap. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.